Wednesday, 1.40. So, um, hi. <laughs> I went to come on. Obviously, it's my 365-day live. I had a really big day today. Basically, did some stuff for the property. And then I also volunteered at the food bank. Then I went and I napped in town on the beach because it's a sunny day. Yay! And, um... Yeah, then after that, watched um, day one of Melanie's program, which I'm really excited. It's like, I think that this was exactly what was meant to come in my world right now at the most perfect divine timing. And oh, I love it when that happens. I love when I invest in myself and growth and evolution in programs. And it's exactly exactly what I am meant to be like growing and learning about myself in this moment in my life I like I love when that happens and it is because I intentionally I always listen to my intuition when it comes to you know buying um and investing in coaches and programs and all that and so I do listen to my intuition with that and I know that every time um because I used to just get things for the sake to like fix a problem I'm like oh there's this problem I have <laughs> in my life in my business okay what's the program that's gonna fix it but now I've like kind of shifted my perspective and I'm like okay like no fix fixing is a band-aid solution and where I can I can fix things if I really want to but where do I desire to grow and learn and when something comes into like my I guess like environment and it's like oh there's this like program that it looks interesting it looks fun curious about it um then I start tapping into my intuition. And I'm like, okay, does this feel right? Does it not feel right? And with this one, though, I actually didn't know what I bought. So it was actually like, I just like, I bought it when there was like zero information and just the price. And I was like, okay, I know I'm meant to buy it. And the money was in my account. And I knew I was going to be, I was going to figure it out. I was going to be okay with like all my expenses and <laughs> and ended up working out. I am okay with all my expenses and then some. And so it just all worked out. But actually what I really, I know I blobbed a little bit, but what I actually really want to talk about. So yesterday night, I decided to do a reading for myself. So I love doing readings for myself. I pull cards for myself quite a, not, well, I wouldn't say quite a bit, but it, I go through phases. I go through phases. I go through times where I'm like pulling all the cards and then there's times where I just take breaks. And I have done a spring card pull back in March and so now that we were summer solstice I was like okay I wanted to do a card pull for the summer and there was a lot of interesting messages because like basically the entire from like November Scorpio season and my life has been absolutely like crazy roller coastery amazing and like shitty all at the same time <laughs> um and so dealing with like i guess i would say like the biggest dark night of my soul like a dark night of the soul of my life thus far um dealing with like all the things i've dealt with with housing like mom the mold to the pipes being frozen to losing my housing to not having a home place to live and bouncing around couch surfing burning out from that um and then finally now I have a place which I'm like really grateful for and like that you know my hair is no longer falling out and my dandruff has tamed itself so who wins and that now my body is kind of getting back into the its rhythm into feeling better in itself uh as much as mentally there were moments where like I kept myself in check for sure like I mean sometimes I didn't to be honest sometimes I broke down and threw a tantrum and 
that was what it was because that was how I was feeling and that is all okay to feel all that and so it has been a crazy roller coaster ride it did like it didn't stop it was just it was a lot of inner work, a lot of deep dive, a lot of crazy like highs of like, oh my God, this is amazing to like, what the fuck, this sucks. And holding the space for all of that. And so now I did this like spread for the summer solstice. And it's like, so quiet. <laughs> this summer is going to be so quiet. And it was just like, such a like, interesting shift and part of me was just like what no excitement like you know we used to like that like crazy like my life being so dramatic um especially if you like look at my birth chart for example like I am a Scorpio that is like in like the Scorpio is like in my eighth and seventh house so like a lot of like eight houses death like death and rebirth and transformation and then I have like Air, my Aries is my rising, which is in my first house, which is like, like Aries being the first zodiac and my Mars is in Aries. So it's like very much like death, rebirth, like boom, go like a very like fast paced energy. And so I am very much used to someone taking jumps, taking risks. I do take risks when I'm like, okay, this risk feel good. Like, let's go, let's jump, let's go all in. And I go for it. And I jump into the unknown without knowing where the hell I'm going to land. And and then life takes me through this roller coaster. And I'm like, what the hell? And it's just like, whoa. And so my card reading is like, it's going to be a chill summer, Julie. And it was very much of like, don't do anything. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? Don't do anything. And I was like, nope surrender trust chill have fun play but don't do anything like don't don't do and as as a society that we've been programmed so much to do like what like you know the classic like well what are you gonna do about it or um you know you're running a business like okay so what are you doing with your business how are you going to like, what are you selling in your business? What do you have to sell? How are you showing up online? What are you doing? What are you doing? The action. Oh, you have a goal. Okay. What are the steps you're doing to get there? We have like this, this has been something that's been like completely like programmed into us that whenever we have a goal or whenever we have a task that, you know, wants to get done that desires to get done or a goal that we are excited for. We go into a complete doing mode. And this doing what is happening is that we just do, we just do. And then we miss certain things along the way. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But we're just so focused on the doing that we're not seeing what is being presented in front of us or we're not seeing something even better because we're just like, nope, that's, that's the goal. This is my business. I need to do this and this and that for my business. I need to like, you know, make sure I'm showing up 24 seven all the time and blah, 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 blah. And so we forget to tap into that feminine energy we have all within us, men and women. We all have this low battery. Um, we all have this feminine energy and it's within us. It is the, the energy of surrender. It is the energetics. And so reading my summer solstice reading, and it's very much like, don't do anything. And that was like a weird thing for me because I was like, well, I just kind of have this like, new little breadcrumb in terms of my business like I'm not sure where it's gonna go but like you know opening myself more to a more offline stuff and I was like in my mind I'm like ready to like uh, that Aries rising within me is very much like okay let's go like, like let's go let's do this and then it's like no 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 
not yet. But I'm also a projector. And a projector, we are like, we are required to wait for the invitation. And so that is in itself surrendering in so many ways. And so I kind of am looking at it a different light. I'm like, whoa, okay. So this summer, I'm basically going to surrender. Surrender, And this summer, I'm just going to take this step back for myself and watch the universe unfold the breadcrumbs in front of me and see what happens. And just, you know, nap and tan, maybe go on some hikes and just chill. Because I know I'm supported. I know I'm good no matter what. I know the universe has my back. I know this is like, I know I'm going to be okay. I know I'm the creator of my own reality. And for me to like, just sit back and surrender, nothing is going to fall apart by me doing that. I know that. I know that. And so even just like taking that step back, like, yeah, I'm going to continue doing my 365 days live. That is something I've committed to. And I like, I love doing it. And it's like, I don't have the resistance to not do it. So continue doing that. As you've seen already, I'm decreasing, like, the amount I post. Like, I haven't felt inspired to write many posts, and that's okay. And I might even decrease what I put in my stories, because that's okay. And you know what? At the end of the day, no, that, like, decreasing how I show up in my business. Like, sorry. No, rephrase that. Decreasing the amount of the amount of times I'm showing up for my business, like the doing is not going to impact my business. It's not because at the end of the day, everything is all there. People can find me. People can find my information. People can book. People can message me. It's all available. I don't need to do anything else. If someone re- if someone wants to work with me, like if you want to work with me, you're going to message me and be like, hey, Julie, like, remember that thing that you offered? Like, do you still offer that? Or, oh, I saw that you offer this. Like, you know, I'm into Fino. Like, can we do this in person? Like, oh, you know, like, Julie, I know you are a human design reader. Like, I want my human design read. Y'all know. My, like, everybody I speak to knows what I do. I come on here, I share with you what I do. And even if you don't know what I do, you can go and click my link in my bio and find out. Or you can send me a message and be like, what do you do? You know, so me taking this step back and surrendering, and this is going to allow, this surrendering is going to allow space for me to receive space for me to get the downloads space for me to notice a breadcrumb space for me to not be so focused on the doing on the next thing on the go 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 and so i wanted to share this with you because this is like this is a work i do like this is a work i do on myself like i read cards for myself because I get these like messages from them and I'm like, it's like the little gentle nudge, the like the, the reminder or sometimes the kick in the ass, depending on how harsh my guides want to be. <laughs> I love them. I love them. But sometimes they're a little. And so. I like I enjoy that about tarot card readings like I, that's what I enjoy is that like that nudge that like kick in the ass that reminder that like you know you're on your path and you're just like la 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 and then you like kind of like stumble a little bit like you're just like stumbling you're still on your path you're not going anywhere but you're just like falling like as if you know like when you're drunk and you're just like mm-hmm. and then basically like the the tarot reading is like like your cards are just like loop loop and like it gets you back up and it's just like okay just continue walking continue walking you got this you're good and that's how I how I view it that's how I view when I read for myself and that is also how I view how I read for my clients 
And I love that. I love like, I love reading for my clients because it's just like, I'm like, ooh, like, here's what they got to say to you. And for me, it's exciting. Like, even even when it's like a little bit of like a like a like a kick in the ass and I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> but I'm just like, oh, here's your message. Like, oh, my God, like, this is the message. OK, cool. Like, this is what they have to say. And you know, kind of like sharing, sharing, like guiding you, obviously, like, I'm, I'm not just gonna hang you dry. Like, I don't hang any of my clients dry. I'm not like, Oh, yeah, here's your information. Okay, bye. I'm like, okay, so here's like, here's where you can look to get more information. Like, here's where you can do to find more answers or whatnot. And, and so I like that because we are all on a journey, right? And like the, the tarot cards are there to just like, give you that little guidance but you are still meant to figure it out. So the guidance I got with my summer solstice was like, oh, like, you know, like, surrender, trust, surrender, you'll be okay. Don't do anything. <laughs> Don't do anything, Julie. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I know I, I trust my guides. I trust the cards. And I know I'm gonna be okay. And I know it's gonna be fine. And I know that whatever comes out of this summer is going to be fucking amazing anyways, because that's a reality I'm creating. I am the creator of my own reality, and so are you. And so if this is like inspiring you in some way, somehow I am offering, I do offer to right now to various versions of like tarot reading. So I am doing the one hour where it's like a one-to-one -one, like Zoom call uh, and that is at one 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 hundred and eleven dollars uh for now. And then the other one I'm offering is if you just want a like if you just want a specific area of your life or if you just have a specific question. Um, you know, let's say you, you like the one hour we we tend to dive in deeper in all aspects of your life. Like I kind of look at everything or if we look at one area, we dive really, really deep and I pull more cards and I, get, I, I go deep with you. Whereas like the other offer I have is more if you like have a specific like question for an area of your life, like a certain area, whether it's business, money, finances, love, life in general, your spiritual journey, whatever it is, um, you know, career, anything really. And you're like, I just want to know this, Julie. I don't like everything else. Like I'm good. I know where I'm going, but this part, there's a little bit of unknown or there's a little bit of like, you know, maybe there's like two paths or, you know, you're not sure which, which one feels right at the moment. Things feel like a little bit unknown. And so, the other offer I'm offering is a five card reading. And for now, this is my uh, summer solstice special. Uh, so for now, I am only uh, offering this for $22 and it is voice notes. So basically, like you just, you know, like I, you just, I just, I can't speak now. Um, <laughs> It's basically like me sending you like I it would either be like on IG or like through text message if I if you're in Canada um, or you have iMessage and it'll be me sending you a photo of the cards and then I just send voice notes or like it'll, I'll send it to you via email and I do like one full voice note. So depending on like how you how you desire to receive it uh, and that yeah like I said that's only $22 uh, for now as well. Uh, prices are bound to change at some point in the future I for the summer solstice I initially was like do it for the week uh until the new moon in cancer so like next Tuesday uh and so right now that still feels right that still feels right to just like have it for this time frame uh but doesn't mean that I won't bring it back again so if anything changes, if I extend it, if I say like oh you know like everything is and anything is possible I don't want you to feel any pressure, you know, like if this feels right for you, you can find it on my link, my bio, you can send me a message, you know, and if right now with this is not in alignment with you, then that's cool too. Like, you know, like I'm, you do you, I do me, I'm having fun here. This is what I love to do. This is what I love to offer. So, and I offer this because I also love doing this for myself. 
And so that's usually like, that's kind of how my business works. That's everything I do for me. I share what I know and I share it with you. Because as my book says, when I grow, so do you. But yeah, anyways, so this, this was like a little bit of a longer live today, but I felt like I wanted a lot to share. I want to talk about my summer solstice, um, terrible. And so this is day 140. If you enjoy this live, feel free to like, share, and comment. I appreciate all of you. Hope you are enjoying the second day of summer, officially. And I will speak to you all tomorrow for day 141.